Everyone. If you're looking for some matte eyeshadow palettes that are either tend to be more warm or more cool, I've got some for you. So let's start with the warm palette. Um, one that I would suggest is by Stila. It's completely matte and it's called Mind, M-I-N-D. And if I cover it, like when you open it, it looks like this, but I'll turn it upside down to cover the mirror. And it has uh, lots of warm tones in here. It also has some that could be considered cool that are more toward the plum. But if you mix them with these warmer shades, they'll look just great. And I'm going to insert another photo or photo, a little bit of video um, over me wearing this on another day. I also did a video in... I guess summer slash early fall when I was on vacation using this palette as um, a warm treat. So the other the interesting thing is the other day I was in my local Ulta store and there were several executives from Stila in there uh, just vis doing some store visits. So I went up to them and introduced myself and chatted a little bit about how much and I was wearing this that day I forgot to mention that to them I was wearing some of the plum shades so this is a great palette for warmth and another really wonderful matte palette and I'm late to the party is Tarte's Tartlet this one tends to run a little more cool when you open it it looks like this and you can wear them however you want um, a lot of times people wear them, you know, in one row, or I'll turn it over like this. So today I'm actually, since I'm wearing a purple sweater, I'm wearing these in the middle, and I actually stuck to the middle. <laughs> and um, actually, I did start with this creamy colored one all over the entire lid, top and bottom, up to the eyebrow. And then I used this light pink just under the brow and on the regular mobile lid. Then above the crease I used this middle shade and if I could have my glasses on I could read them but if you go check this out <laughs> at a local store you can check out the names. And then I used this plum shade right in the crease just part of the way and then on a small angle brush I took this deep plum color and just put a little tiny bit in here and then blended it out like crazy with a blendy brush. So this is a beautiful palette for something that's more cool, but there are a couple shades in here that do tend toward warm, a couple brown shades, for example, in this one, but they work well with cool colors. So those are two that I absolutely love that are completely matte. If you want a little bit of frosty shine, I, well, when I do, I just open up another palette of something else and put a little bit on. But wonderful for matte. Now, I have one brand that has a line of matte that are wonderful, and I have two of theirs, and that's Physician's Formula. So this is their Canyon Classics. Oh my gosh, I'm getting my finger completely dirty. <laughs> Back to Physician's Formula, Canyon Classics. So this one is well-loved already. Let's get rid of that. Um, it has these, well, there's, yeah, I guess there is a little mirror. These four shades and a great neutral tone, very light. And then this one that's well-loved, I like to put above the crease and this one in the crease. And then I hardly ever use this one. But this is what I call warm. And then I have a second one of theirs. This is called the Quartz Quartet. This runs more cool. And as you can see, it's got some that are a little more gray, a little more charcoal. This one is kind of warm, but it tends toward pink, and then this one is a pinky color. And they've got one or two others in this line, so they look like this. So this is great for a drugstore brand, matte shade, warm or cool. Um, I use these colors even to fill in from time to time. 
um, and absolutely love them, obviously, from hitting pan already. So I hope you enjoyed this and um, test it out for yourself. Go, you can try, of course, at an Alta store or a Sephora store, you can check out um, the more higher end lines and the Physician's Warm, it'll cost much. And they, these, all of them wear nicely. And fortunately, they don't have a lot of fallout. Of course, the more expensive lines are more pigmented, but they don't have a lot of fallout, which I really appreciate. All right, thanks for watching, bye. I'm using the Stila Mind Palette, and I don't know if that's reflecting. And here it is. So I'll show that to you next. Hi everyone. I'm actually on vacation this week, and I'm at my cousin's lake house.